That's not supposed to be there. progress but now I'm in the roots of this crappy mulberry tree. I think we're getting closer. Closer to the sprinkler head. I think I found it. So now that I have the water shut off you can see there that the elbow is supposed to be up here you can see kind of a line right there and it has come off probably because the thrust block since they use a 90 degree elbow which I hate using um, looks like they used the timber as a thrust block and rotted away so upon further investigation it wasn't the elbow that gave way. Back right in this area, there's a compression fitting and that's what gave away. So I'm gonna have to dig back here and be able to glue a new piece in, put a proper thrust block here, put the sprinkler head back and we should be good. So here's a better view of what was happening. Um, you can see where the sprinkler head is and then the this piece right here is called the swing joint. That allows you to, when you hook in your sprinkler to the main water line under ground, it allows you to adjust by lifting and swiveling. And so as you can see, it kind of rotates. Well, underground it rotates. Um, so, and then this back part was connected by a compression fitting. What a compression fitting is, is a um, coupler that has a gasketed fitting uh, and you have to grease this into the pipe and it kind of slides right in. Well, the thing with compression fittings, they're great for inline repairs, not so great for inline repairs. This is an inline uh, because it elbows off, it doesn't shoot off anywhere else. Therefore, your thrust block, once that gives out, this becomes basically like a missile. Um, your thrust block gives out and it will do exactly what it did down in here. Um, it blew away and eventually um, completely gave out. And this is why I'm here doing this. So the proper way to fix it will be to put a glue fitting on and then getting a proper thrust block, which I have a concrete block that I will put in back behind here. And it won't allow that water pressure whenever it um, fills the lines, it won't allow it to move back and forth. All right, so this is what the compression fitting, uh, the gasketed one that I was just talking about, 
there's the black o-ring um, and as you can see the side that blew away no longer has that o-ring um, or gasket I'm sorry that was incorrect so it's kind of hard to decipher in the last video but compression fittings the gasketed ones are great for in line I N dash L I N E uh, repairs not so much for end lines E N D so since this is the end of the line it wasn't the best choice so I cleaned the end off I have the fitting ready to go to be glued but as you can see there's a slow drip so I'm going to do the hot dog bun method um, I'm going to shove some hot dog buns up the, in there and that will give me enough time it will start soaking that water up and that will give me enough time to put primer and glue on that glue the fitting on before uh, uh, that water makes its way through the buns water and the primer and glue do not mix if you have any sort of water getting through on the wet glue before it dries it will not seal up um, I'll be back here probably digging it up if I didn't do that so um, waiting for my hot dogs to arrive all right, so the new piece is installed. New T-fitting and a proper thrust block. That thing weighs about 50 pounds or so, so it's not going to go anywhere. Now I'm back filling and I'll be tamping it down with the spud bar. All right, so I back filled where we dug up. Here's the thrust block still sticking up. Um, I nicked a, a wire here, so I'm going to have to repair that uh, in order to hook up the solenoid again to make the sprinkler run. So I'm going to do that in the meantime, and then I should be able to test it out to make sure it operates how it should. Uh, the good thing is I've had the water on now for uh, 45 minutes, and I don't see any, any water running, so it looks like the fix held for me uh, how I wanted it. Thank you.